In this video, we are going to discuss about the topic quantization. The contents of this video includes Introduction to Quantization Process of Quantization and Types of Quantization Types of Quantization includes Uniform Quantization and Non-Uniform Quantization in uniform condensation, we are going to see about mid-rise type and mid-thread type. Next, we are going to discuss about condensation noise and signal to noise ratio parameters. The process involved in unlock to digital conversion are sampling, condensation and encoding. Where condensation is the process of transforming sampled amplitude values of a message signal into a discrete amplitude value. For example, here the sample value is greater than 7, but it is quantized with the value 7. Here the sample value is less than 5, but it is quantized as the value 5. Normally, a continuous signal such as voice has a continuous range of amplitudes. But our human sense, that is ear or eye, can detect only finite intensity differences. So, if we assign the discrete amplitude levels with sufficient close spacing, the approximated signal is indistinguishable from the original continuous signal. In amplitude quantization, the message signal m of t is sampled at time t is equal to nts. We get the sample amplitude m of nts. Then it is quantized. That is, we get the discrete amplitudes v of nts from the final set of possible amplitudes. Assume the quantization process is memoryless and instantaneous. That is, it depends only on the present values. A device or algorithmic function that performs the quantization is called quantizer. Here, the quantizer converts the continuous amplitude sample M into discrete amplitude sample V. Here, L is the total number of amplitude levels in the quantizer. And step size is the spacing between two adjacent representation levels. Step size is represented by delta. Now we are going to discuss about the types of condensers. The first one is uniform condenser, where the condensation levels are uniformly spaced. Two categories are there, that is mid-thread type condenser and mid-rise type condenser. Second type of condenser is non-uniform condenser. Here, the spacing between the condensation levels will be unequal. Mostly, the relationship is logarithmic. Now, we are going to see about mid-thread type. The terminology mid-thread or mid-rise is based on what happens in the region around the value 0. In mid-thread type, the origin lies in the middle of the thread of the staircase like graph. For example, if delta is equal to 1, then if the input is 0.5, the output can be 0 or 1. If the input is 0.8, the output is 1. If the input is 0.3, the output is 0. In mid-rise type condenser, the origin lies in the middle of the rise portion of the staircase-like graph. Consider step size delta is equal to 1. Then, if the input is 0, the output is 0.5 or minus 0.5. If the input is between 0 0.1 and 0 0.9, the output is 0.5. If the input is 1, the output is 0.5 or 1.5. Now we are going to discuss about condensation noise. Condensation actually introduces an error called condensation noise. For example, 
amplitude of 0.7 is represented by 1 in mid-thread type. So, condensation noise is the difference between the input signal M and the output signal V. In this, we are going to determine condensation noise power and output signal to noise ratio. In mid-thread condenser, the error lies actually between minus del by 2 to del by 2. Condensation error will be the difference between output signal level and the input signal level. Where delta is the step size. Delta is equal to 2 times m max divided by L. Where m max is the peak positive voltage. The probability density function of the condensation error lies between minus del by 2 to del by 2. The probability density function fq of q which is equal to 1 by delta if q lies between minus del by 2 to del by 2. 0 otherwise. The mean of the quantization noise is upper value del by 2 plus the lower value minus del by 2 by 2 which is equal to 0. The variance is equal to E of Q square minus E square of Q where mean E of Q is equal to 0 when you are taking this type. Therefore, E square of Q also equal to 0. So, variance is equal to E of Q square always which is also equal to sigma E square. The variance or power of condensation error is called condensation noise power. We know that variance expected value of x square will be equal to 1 minus upper limit x2 minus x1 integral x1 to x2 into x square dx. For this case x2 minus x1 which will be equal to delta by 2 minus of minus delta by 2 which is equal to delta. So, I will get 1 by delta which is equal to fq of q. Therefore, variance sigma e square will be equal to integral the lower limit minus delta by 2 to the upper limit is delta by 2 q square into fq of q which is equal to 1 by delta. Next, we are going to integrate this q square with respect to q. Integration of q square which is equal to q cube by 3. Here the lower limit is minus delta by 2 and the upper limit is delta by 2. Then applying the limits. We get 1 by delta, delta by 2 the whole cube minus, minus delta by 2 the whole cube divided by 3. Which is equal to 1 by delta, delta cube by 8 plus delta cube by 8 divided by 3. Which is equal to 1 by 3 delta into 2 delta cube divided by 8. Cancelling the common terms, we will get the variance will be equal to delta square by 12. We know that delta corresponds to step size which is equal to 2 times m max divided by L which is equal to 2 times m max divided by 2 power r where L is the number of levels that is represented in the powers of 2. R corresponds to the number of bits per sample.
here l is equal to 2 power r if you are taking log on both sides log base 2 l is equal to log base 2 2 power r which is equal to r into log base 2 power 2 log base 2 power 2 will be equal to 1 so r will be equal to log base 2 l The output noise power that is variance is equal to del square by 12 which is equal to 2 into m max divided by 2 power r the whole square divided by 12 which is again equal to 2 into m max the whole square divided by 12 into 2 power 2 r. Squaring this term will be equal to 4 into m max square divided by 12 into 2 power 2 r. Cancelling the terms we will get 1 by 3 into m square m max into 2 power minus 2 r. We are bringing this 2 power 2 r to the numerator. Now the output signal to noise ratio of the uniform condenser it is the ratio of signal power to the noise power where P is the average power of the message signal M of T and sigma E square it is the output noise power which is equal to P divided by sigma E square which is equal to 1 by 3 M square max into 2 power minus 2 r which is equal to 3 into p divided by m square into max multiplied by 2 power 2 r here the signal to noise ratio of the output increases exponentially with increase in the number of bits per sample that is if you are increasing r the signal to noise ratio will increase Now we are going to discuss about non-uniform condenser. In non-uniform condenser, the step size is not equal. That is, the step size varies. The non-uniform condenser is similar to the structure. That is, the signal is passed through the compressor and the compressed signal is passed through the uniform condenser and the output is expanded which provides the non-uniform condensation. The compressor operates based on either mu law or a law. In mu law, the output is compressed based on this equation. Where the output V which is equal to log of 1 plus mu into modulus of m divided by log of 1 plus mu. Where m and v are the normalized input and the output voltages where mu is a positive constant. For different values of mu we get different levels of compression. When mu is equal to 0 there is no compression. In a law the output depends on this expression where v is equal to a into modulus of m divided by 1 plus log a if input m is between 0 to 1 by a the output v which is equal to 1 plus log of a modulus of m divided by 1 plus log a if the input is between 1 by a to 1. Here when a is equal to 1 there is no compression is performed. Then after uniform quantization we have expander whose characteristics is complementary to the compressor. The combination of compressor and expander is called as compander. So, 
in non uniform condenser first the signal is given to the compressor then it is given to the uniform condenser after that it is given to the expander which produces the non uniform condensation output so in this video we have discussed about condensation types of condensation the first type of condensation is uniform condensation in that we have discussed about mid thread type and mid trace type then we obtained the condensation noise and signal to noise ratio at the output second type of condensation we have discussed is non uniform condensation thank you for watching this video